Welcome to All Real Estate All the Time with Whitney Nicely. Whitney is the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses and the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. She owns a real estate portfolio, including land, houses, and apartment buildings across East Tennessee. Whitney will teach you how to purchase real estate for profit and help you achieve lifelong goals. You don't need to be a real estate agent to be a good real estate investor. And now the star of her own show, Whitney Nicely. Hello, everybody. This is Whitney Nicely, and you're listening to All Real Estate All the Time. I have a special guest with me today. This is Ashley Grinner. Hey, everybody. She, she is a new investor, and she has some new investing questions and i have tips tricks and lots of life lessons so today what we're going to kind of go through is what a new real estate investor what a new lady to real estate can experience what she should be expecting um some things that she should look out for and steer clear of and basically just getting you past that first deal which is where all your fear is coming from once you do that first de deal and you see that it's basically a you know four or five step process and you keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it until you're me then you know you're good to go <laughs> so um ashley is here and i'm gonna let you start with just a couple questions some warm-up questions and then we'll get into some nitty-gritty deal making stuff towards the end awesome okay well i guess the first question would be where am i gonna find houses that i need to buy like do i just drive around endlessly until i find something that i like or do i pay to mail letters out like what is the best possible way to just i want to make money now okay the best possible way and when you talk about driving we call that driving for dollars so you're driving around neighborhoods you're looking for empty houses you're looking for fisbo signs but when you are driving that's costing you money so the first thing that i like to teach my ladies how to do is find deals for free to reroute the words that they're saying when they're checking out at the cashier and to reroute what they're doing on social media because so many of us have so many friends on social media and if you tell your friends what you're looking for and you tell your friends that you're getting into real estate then they're going to want to help you and if you tell them exactly step by step and make it easy for them to help you then they're all over it so one of the things that i do is you can drive for dollars if you want to but that costs gas and a car and knowing where you want to go right and I, I will tell you that it's easy to start driving in your neighborhood and then the neighborhood next to your neighborhood and then the neighborhood next to that one and so you just kind of spread out and you're looking for empty houses you're looking for fisbo signs everything i want is going to be off market so if there's a real estate agent sign in the yard i'm not interested in it and we can go over all of those reasons again if you want to <laughs> but just stay away from the real estate signs and stay away from the f word nobody likes foreclosures okay so just stay away from them it's not any fun and the deals are not there like you think they are so skip that what i want you to do is start on your social media and put up i've got 12 different posts that every real estate investor needs to get started and this is going to be stuff like if you follow me on facebook or whitney buys houses on facebook or whitney buys houses on instagram all i have are these 12 posts and everything i do goes back to one of these 12 posts so i put up dirty pictures of dirty bathrooms that i see or weird bathrooms that i see or just you know stuff that i see in a daily real estate world that most people aren't going to see or they're not going to expect that i mean the dirty pictures that's why we're on facebook we're all nosy everybody loves to see the dirty pictures and they love a before and after so i'll do a bunch of before and afters this was dirty and now it's clean now you want to move into it you didn't even want to talk about it to start with but it took me a couple hundred bucks and now everybody wants to buy it. so that that's really cool and that's that's what i teach you how to do in the 12 posts you've watched it what's your favorite of the 12 posts do you know i love the one the ones where it's like all right here's a b c and d what's your favorite oh yeah those are those good. are so great <laughs> and those are easy too because i mean you're in lows and even if you're not flipping a bathroom you can go through the faucet aisle and take four different pictures of four different faucets and all you do is say which one would you rather have and people give you their opinion they give you ideas and it's a lot of times you've already either made up your mind you're going to get number c or i do that with houses i looked at four houses which one do you think i should buy or which one do you think i bought and you know people will say well i know the answer to this you've tried to buy them all well yeah I've, i tried to buy them all but which one did i actually get you know and then you can use the same pictures and say okay what would you do to this one what would you do to that one 
and it's it's easy stuff but it starts the leads coming in for free on your facebook and messenger or people tagging their friends or everything else sharing. and why why i'm talking about that when you mention sharing make sure your posts are public in the last week i have had one real estate agent friend of mine he called and he was like i'm putting up these posts and it's my mls briefing and it's you know this stuff and i did the different picture like you told me to but it's still just not going anywhere and i looked at it and he had his settings set to private so only his friends so only like a hundred people were seeing it depending on the time of day that he posted it so i said we'll open it up for public and then have your wife share it have your mom share it have it whatever that way it hits three or four different ripples in the pond oh another friend of mine is trying to rent out her primary house you know i'm always talking about don't sell your primary house when you get a newer bigger badder house just rent out your old one well she had taken that advice and she was renting out her old house but she had the setting set to private again so only her friends were seeing it and i i could see where it had been shared two or three different times but only the same hundred people are seeing it because it wasn't public so if you're going to be sharing stuff make sure it's public and i'm guilty of forgetting to switch to public sometimes too but everything i put up on whitney buys houses facebook page is shareable <laughs> i have a house in pal that we shared last night it's a three bedroom two bath it's awesome you've been out there oh yeah the one with the huge shed out back <laughs> it's you could live in the shed it's amazing you don't even need to live in the house it's just a stay in the shed. <laughs> perfect man cave if the house wasn't big enough for you then you could definitely hang out in the shed out back absolutely it's cool but we've got that on whitney buys houses facebook page and it's been shared several different times and we actually get leads from that which is cool and you don't have to pay for stuff on facebook you don't have to boost the post to get the exposure that you need you can share it into groups you can share it into mom groups you can share it into real estate groups you just need to share it where people are going to be able to see it and keep sharing it so that you you can't tell how far it's going to go it, Facebook is absolutely amazing and that's what I teach a lot of women how to do is use a Facebook effectively instead of just a place to share recipes <laughs> yeah make it work for you <laughs> yeah bring in the leads let's make some money honey absolutely so do that and then I'll also you know some of the things that I do when I teach ladies is you don't have more time in the day I don't want to tell you how to round out another hour to become a successful real estate investor i want to teach you how to do things that you're already doing to bring in leads like if you're at the nail salon there's no reason that you shouldn't let everybody in the nail salon know that you want to buy a house because somebody in there has a house or their brother has a house or they know somebody that needs to get rid of a house and if you are loud and proud about that i mean i hand out so many cards at the nail salon just because i'm loud and proud and there's other agents in there i know who they are i say hi to them but they're not handing out any cards I am and I get those leads and those are off-market leads that the agents aren't even trying for so that I teach ladies how to use the time that they're already using wasting spending and make money from it so th that's the best way I would say to start getting those leads awesome. so you know how to you know what you're looking for and how you're looking for it and once the leads start coming in, then you can filter through them a little bit better to say, no, I really like this area. And then you can tell your friends, I'm only looking in Coryton. I'm only looking in the Farragut. I'm only looking you know, here. But you'll still get some outliers that'll yeah. call and they're like, hey, I'm in Greenback and there's a for sale by owner out here. I'm like, no, thanks. I don't want that. <laughs> I think that's even on your Facebook page. If you don't tell people, how will they know? Like, yes. that's why Whitney buys houses. They know right off the bat, oh, hey. I bet Whitney wants to buy some houses <laughs> <laughs> and quad flexes. We talked about that last week is that I really want your quad flexes too. <laughs> and you know, the slogan that I've been using is Whitney buys houses and you can too. There's no reason that every lady in Knoxville should not have a real estate portfolio and you don't need a hundred thousand dollars to get started with a real estate portfolio. I tell the story all the time that my first investment was 1500 bucks all in all done 1500 bucks it is raw land and that's the other thing that ladies will say to me what if somebody punches a hole in the sheetrock what am i gonna do well you pay somebody to go fix it that's what you're gonna do but if you're just buying land it doesn't matter there's no sheetrock to punch a hole in there's no problems there's really no overhead there's physically no overhead if you're just buying land and you can buy it for 1500 bucks you save five, uh, save a hundred dollars a month for 15 months boom you can start investing and my 1500 dollar lot 
comes back, I rent the driveway. I don't even rent the land. I just rent the driveway for $250 a month. So in six months, I got my money back. In a year, I've doubled down on my money. And I don't know anywhere else anybody in Knoxville is going to tell you how to double down on a $1,500 investment. That's pretty impressive. I, I love it. <laughs> and that's, those are numbers that people can work with. And uh, when we get back here in a second, I'll tell you what you can do with that $250 because I've got four different ways that you can spend that 250 one of it's really fun and one of it's really smart. <laughs> and then the other two are good also. But um, if you're looking to sell a house quickly, you can call Whitney Buys Houses, 865-309-4500. But if you're suffering through all the rain that we're having right now and your driveway has washed out, please call my mama at Walker's Truck Contractors and her phone number is 865-933-0225. They have gravel and will travel. You're listening to all real estate all the time.